boys and girls, it's Miss Jenny. I decided I'd stop by and tell you another story today. But let's start off with our hello song. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody, how are you? How are you today? Hello everybody, tap your head, tap your head. Tap your head. Hello, everybody. Tap your head. Tap your head with me. Hello, everybody. Touch your shoulders. Touch your shoulders. Touch your shoulders. Hello, everybody. Touch your shoulders. Touch your shoulders with me. Hello, everybody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hello, everybody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Hello, everybody. Reach for your feet. Reach for your feet. Reach for your feet. Hello, everybody. Reach for your feet. Reach for your feet and have a seat. Hey, everybody. I have another story I want to share with you today. And the name of this story is Stone Soup. It's another folk tale. Remember, folk tales are something that's been passed down the line for centuries. So it might be a story that your great grandparents heard, your grandparents heard, your parents heard, and now today I'm going to tell it to you. This story all starts off with a boy, and he walks to a village that he's never been before. And when he gets there, he is so hungry, and he has no place to stay. So he sees a man walk by, and he says, Sir, excuse me, do you have anything you could give me to eat? I am so hungry. And the man says, no, nope, I don't. So then he sees another villager walk by and he asks that villager, excuse me, ma'am, do you have something you could share with me to eat? I'm so hungry. She says, no, I'm sorry, I do not. So the little boy thought and said, well, Good thing I brought my trusty pot with me. So he gets his pot. He takes his pot down to the stream and he fills it up with water and he brings it up to the center of the village and he sets some stones down. He makes a fire and he puts that pot on top of the fire. And then he gets out his trusty stone from his pocket and he puts that stone in his pot. Well, the pot starts boiling and another villager walks by and he said, hmm, what do you have in your pot? He said, oh, it's a stone, a stone. Oh, yeah, see, I'm making stone soup. Stone soup, hmm, never had stone soup before. He says, oh, you have to try it. It's so delicious. But what would make it even better if I had a potato to put in it? The man said, oh, you know what? I have a potato back home. Let me go get it for you. So the man goes back home, he comes back, and he brings him a potato and puts a potato in the pot. Well, the pot's boiling, his stone's in there, the potato's in there, and pretty soon they look around and there's a lot of village people there. And a lady from the crowd said, what are you making in that pot? Oh, stone soup, it's delicious, you have to try it. Well. Do you think you might need some carrots? I have some carrots at home we could put in it. Sure, that would be wonderful. So she goes home and she gets some carrots and puts them in the stone soup. Well, then it isn't long after that. A girl said, hey, we have some meat at our house. Do you suppose meat would taste good in that soup? The boy said, oh, that would be really good. So she ran home and she got some meat. Plopped in the pot. Well then, pretty soon, another man said, you know, I just picked some celery from my garden. I bet that would be good in the soup too. The boy said, terrific. So he went, got his celery, and put that in the soup. And while he was picking his celery, there was another lady that came from her garden. She said, I just picked an onion from my garden. Let's put that in your soup. In went the onion. This soup started smelling so good when suddenly another man said, you know, I like spices in my soup. 
Can I give you a piece of garlic to put in that soup? That would give it even more flavor. Sure. So I put the garlic in the soup. Oh, well, by and by, the soup was really smelling very good. And the boy said, hmm, let me see it. Stir it around a bit. Took a little taste. Oh, I think it's done. He said to the townspeople, do you know, this is such a big pot of soup. There's no way I can eat it by myself. Will you all share it with me? Oh, the villagers were hungry and they said, yes, that would be wonderful. So all the villagers brought their bowls and spoons and they all had soup and they sat down and they visited together something they hadn't done together in a long time. They had such a wonderful time. And when they were all full, they left and they went home. All but one girl. She came up to the boy and she said, oh, that stone soup was so good. I want to make it again and again. Can I buy that stone from you? And the boy said, you know, I'm not going to sell the stone to you, but I will give the stone to you. You may have my stone, but I have to tell you something. It wasn't the stone that made the soup so good. It was all the people in the village sharing everything they had that made the soup so delicious. And the little girl said, I want the stone anyway. So she took that stone and she went home with it. And that's my story about stone soup. Boys and girls, we're going to do a little song. And this song is by Happy Palmer. And you know, it's a, it's a little stick song. And I know I usually have sticks for you, but since you're at your house and I'm at my house, I don't have sticks to hand to you through this. So put your video on pause for a second while I set up my music. And we are going to do a tapping stick song by Hat Palmer. And you know, Hat Palmer, just like Jim Gill, he said when we are doing story times at home for our children that come to our story times, we're welcome to use his music. So let me get this started. Will you go and get, you can either get spoons from your mom's drawer, or you can get regular spoons you eat with, or maybe you have two big crayons you can use for sticks. So go get those while I set up the music, and we'll, when you come back, we're going to do a song together. All right? All right. Okay, ready? Here we go. Tap your sticks in the air with a one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with a one, two, three. Tap your sticks in the air with a one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with a one, two, three. Do you move your stick to the music? Tap your sticks to the right with a one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the left with a one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the right with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the left with the one, two, three. Rub your sticks together. Shake them high above you. Rub your sticks together. You're rubbing your sticks? Behind you, we're hiding them now. Okay, ready for the next direction? Here we go. Cross your sticks, tap your knees with the one, two, three. Tap Make your sticks, sticks bend to end with the one, two, three. Cross your sticks, tap your knees with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks, bend to end with the one, two, three. Can you leave your sticks in music like a quad? Hammer left with the right with the one, two, three. Hammer right with the left. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. 
Chapter six in the air with the one, two, three. Chapter six on the floor with the one, two, three. Yay, good job. Okay, boys and girls, I had so much fun with you today, but it's time for a goodbye wave. You ready? Here we go. Wave high. Wave low. Wave it's time. We've got to go. Wiggle your fingers. Now wink your eyes and blow a kiss and wave goodbye. Until next time, boys and girls, have a wonderful day.